Hi guys, Veggie from the Future here with Woozle, just to say that over on the uh, Patreon, uh, we've now started Season 5. Amazing starts to Series 5, guys, seriously, it's, it's brilliant so far. And so if you want to get catched up straight away with, with where we are and w watch the full-length unedited reactions, you can check that out for as little as you want, guys. Uh, we've also uh, d covered the, the Buffy movie. We're, we're also started Season 2 of Angel as well, thoroughly enjoying Angel, as well as some other uh, bits and bobs, including the pilot and stuff and there's no need to sync guys it's all there uh, ready for you and so just back the page for as little as you want or you can wait for these edited up versions i am so sorry they do take me a long time to get out i'm hoping to imp improve the speed on that but yes i know that it is a long way between these edits so i do apologize and yeah hopefully that will change as we go forward but uh either way enjoy the episode Hi guys, Vinci Gamer back and we're back to Buffy Veggie Nights. Last episode was a treat to Veggie Nights. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And you know what? I really enjoyed reading your views on it as well. Um, because um, obviously it's each their own when it comes to this sort of thing, guys. And even as watching it, I was thinking, this is amazing. And I bet you anything, I'm probably going to be, not in the minority, but definitely um, the, liking it more than some people would. Because I think that to a lot of people it would be considered just like a you know your, your average um, side quest episode as we call it here. Um, but for me, there was something about that storyline, guys, and you know sympathetic villains and everything. The fact that um, Daryl apparently told Chris that he shouldn't have brought him back. Chris was saying this to Buffy at the end. I thought it was blooming wonderful. Uh, obviously, Eric was bizarre. I'm guessing we won't see Eric again, but we could do though. I mean, he's um. He's a villainous character. He wouldn't be going to prison, though. God knows what's happening, actually, legally. I guess legal stuff doesn't really get brought up in Buffy much, but what legally would have happened next? Because they would have found the, the the bodies. They definitely would have been able to identify that one of them was made up of diff several different people's bodies. The, I mean, Buffy and Chris were, were there next to the ambulances and everything, and so presumably one of them phoned... For the ambulance and the fire crew to come out. Legal stuff is not something which is. I don't know, maybe there is going to be a legal episode one day, guys, but I don't think this is going to be the one, though. And so. But all in all, I just thought it was a blooming wonderful episode. And I really, really liked the fight, guys. I really did, because quite often it's um, Buffy kicking ass and then one person gets like a good hit in and then Buffy kicking ass and one one lucky hit by the by the other guy. But it, this was like, what did they say? The uh, movable object, uh, no, the uh, irresistible force meeting the movable object. It was just them just going at it, guys. And I thought that was... It was like wild, you know, it didn't seem like a, a proper fight. It just, they're like basically tearing each other apart. So I thought it was excellent. I really did love that episode. Um, I think my character of the episode would have to be Chris, guys. And I think that is the first time that we have gone non-main um, non crew. Is it? I think it might be. I think it might be the first time we've gone non-main crew, guys. I, I, that's such a sad story. The mother was great as well, uh, like, you know, I guess that's it, guys, like, with a lot of these things, like, say, like, ha what happened with Colin uh, on that bus and everything? We don't have, like, the, you know, you know, we don't, we don't see, like, you know, the, the relatives of Colin or the other people on, the, on that bus. Um, you know, we don't see their, their distress and, you know, what they've lost and everything. And so to actually see the human side of um, this... Uh, what? How to, how to how to put it? The unusual thing happening. <laughs> um, what's what's great? I thoroughly enjoyed it, and you know what? I fully understand. Um, people saying it's not really for them, because it's horses for courses. It that's something that I've already learned in in Buffy, guys. Is that it, it, everyone's different, and you guys keep on saying that. I just need to tell you my honest opinions with with these episodes. Nightmare, I think, is my favourite episode so far. The last episode of the first series was phenomenal. I just can't remember what it's called. Um, which is obviously fantastic as well. And that did have the kind of human side to it as well, but not with Lost, though. And this next episode is, is called School Hard. <laughs> I'm guessing a Die Hard reference, maybe? Um, 
because obviously this does have a lot of references in, in old Buffy. Oh, one thing that I didn't pick up on, and I'm an idiot, guys, is that at one point I did, a couple of episodes ago, I did think that Willow was, um, was Armish, where she's obviously Jewish with, with that surname. Or at least from Jewish family. Um, they were still doing the quote game, but I've just never heard of The Witness. I know the I know a video game called The Witness. Is it called The Witness? Really good puzzle game. I think it was, okay. I think there's a puzzle game called The Witness. Um, very much like Mist and stuff like that, like like island puzzle games. If 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 it's the game which I'm thinking of, anyway. Um, yeah, and so I'm an idiot for not picking up on that. What was actually going on there? I certainly don't know that quote either. I know there's an episode of The Simpsons where Homer's doing something similar. Um, to an Amish person. But anyway, uh, I've got a... Uh, you know what, guys? This is going to be a little bit controversial. Am I going to say this? I'm probably going to say this, and then this episode is going to be all about Willow. I think Willow is starting to get side sidelined. I actually do, guys. So, anyway, what I'm saying there is that Willow is starting to be the character that talks about... Xander or talks about Buffy. She's she's there to talk about other people, you know. I do feel like she's starting to get a little bit sidetracked. I don't sidelined. I don't think that's going to be the case forever. I really don't. But I have been thinking like, I wish Willow was a little bit more involved in this episode. You know what I mean? Even Calendar's getting more stuff, guys. I like Calendar. <laughs> I do actually. She's cool. I disagree with her about American football. Very uh, one of the more, most technical sports I've ever watched. Definitely. Um, but anyway, not enough about that. Enough waffle. Uh, my other note is something that you... I, uh, there is a theory, guys, apparently. <laughs> a fan theory. That Angel... Angel wore a jacket in the last episode, guys, which is, like, notably un-Angel. And apparently the theory is... And I like this, guys. I like it a lot. And it makes Angel's... Angel's certainly a more interesting character than I expected him to be. Especially after that last episode with what you were saying about Xander. Apparently the theory is that Angel is still threatened by Xander. And is just trying to modernise his outfit a bit and look a little bit more 90s. I love that. If that is a genuine theory, I freaking love that. Sorry, guys. My chair's made a strange noise. Can I make it do it again? That was not me um, doing the other one. Um, right. So, I love that theory. And so, I am, I'm I'm a fully paid-up member of that theory now. I think it is wonderful. So, now we're on to episode three of series two, uh, which is the 13th episode. Woo! Although, apparently, there was a pilot episode. Shall I check out the pilot episode sometime? Of Buffy, not the movie, that there is a pilot episode of Buffy. So if you want me to check that out at some point, maybe we'll do that after the second series. Or maybe we'll do it next. Let me, let me know. I'm hoping there's a Christmas episode coming up. There must be a Buffy Christmas episode. Well, if it if it lands in two weeks' time, that would be ideal. <laughs> but um, anyway, let's get on to Buffy Series 2, Episode 3. But now we're on to the Willow-scented episode, Hard School. School art. <laughs> I'm a professional YouTuber. Who do you oh. think is the most troublesome student in this school? Buffy. <laughs> well, it is quite a match between you two. Buffy hasn't stabbed a horticulture teacher with a trowel. Wow. Thursday is parent-teacher <clears throat> night. Assuming you have any, we'll meet your teachers. Wow. Will Hank be there? You have three days to prepare the refreshment and transform the school lawn to a habitable place for adults. That could take a while. You mess up this time. And your parents will be coming to clean out your lockers. Good luck. Oh, is that Chiefs? A 49ers? That's Sheila. Well, Sheila's definitely intense. Sheila. That guy with her? That's the guy she can bring home to mother. Look at that shirt, Sander. It's no biggie. You'll have a nice soiree. Parents will love it. As long as nothing know. really bad happens. What did you say that for? Nothing bad is gonna happen. What do you mean? Nothing's gonna happen? It's the ultimate jinx. What were you thinking? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Would it be amazing if nothing happens this episode? Well, you guys don't know. <coughs> Maybe this time it'll be different. Oh no! <laughs> Monster jumps out of his back. It'd be amazing if this episode nothing happened. I would respect the show so much if nothing happened in this episode now, guys. Sheila. Is this the Undertaker? <gasps> right. I think. I think so. And he looked well. I, the hair, at least. I didn't know he was a vampire. I like his entrance music. Home sweet home. 
and he's, a, he's he sounds Australian, and we've got a key character called Sheila in this guy, so I'm starting to see a pattern. Right, I think this is this guy, right? I doubt he will be on the intro, no, will he? He, he might. I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold up just in case. I'm guessing it's him. I remember him having Malfoy hair. Is this the last episode without this in it? Or maybe it'll have it in it. Excited. This weekend, the night of St. Vigius, our power shall be at its peak. Oh, I definitely know this actor. It'll be the greatest event since the crucifixion. The greatest. And I should know, I was there. Oh, wow, he's old school. If every vampire who said he was at the crucifixion, it would have been like Woodstock. <laughs> I was actually at Woodstock. That was a weird gig. At night. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, that was fast. So, who do you kill for fun around here, Spike? What, Dan, uh, Cal Viva? Or is he English? You got Slayer problems. That's a bad piece of luck. Oh, it's English, okay. Yeah, I did a couple of Slayers in my time. I don't like to brag. Wow, that's, a, that's pretty impressive. There was this one Slayer during the Boxer Rebellion. At... Boxer Rebellion? True Silver. Drew? Look at all the people. Yeah, they're English. Are these nice people? We're getting along. Drusilla and Spike. How long has Spike been a vampire I for them? That's what you are. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So she's a. I'm guessing she's a vampire. Vampires can't drink each other's blood. Can they? Okay. Any you want to test who's got the biggest wrinklies around here? Wrinklies! Step on up. I'll do your slayer for you. And you keep your flunkies from trying anything behind my back. Having killed two, at least two slayers is, is quite insane. You start where she is. Kill a spike. What the parents' evening is Killer it? Kill for me. It's done, baby. You are my sweet, <laughs> my little spike. So. <laughs> the vampires are like, what the hell's going on? I spent a good part of my allowance on this new cream rinse, and it's neither creamy nor rinsy. Life is hard, dear. Say nurses have it tough. Today, reminder notice about parent-teacher night. Mm-mm. Which you were planning on telling me about? What do you think your teachers are going to tell me about you? Well... Calendar would be right. What can you really tell about a person from a test score? Whether or not she's ever going out with her friends again. Oh, good line. What I don't want is to be disappointed in you again. Mom, it's the last thing that I want too. Oh, that's a hard line. That's a hard line. I have a lot of pressure on me right now. Wait till you get a job. <laughs> ah, that, that seemed like a bit of a harsh line. I know. It's incredibly sweet, but my god. It's a home truth right there. I have a job. Of course. Do you think you can help me cram some French tonight? I don't want Mr. Dijon telling my mother I'm an imbecile. I can study and, and make my mother proud Scooby as long as I don't have to Buffy. fight vampires. Ah, oh, Calendar's back! Liking how much Calendar we get in this series, guys. Miss Calendar has been researching, well, uh, surfing on her computer. According to her calculations, this Saturday is the night of St. Vigis. Let me guess. He didn't make balloon animals. Well, if I survive parent-teacher night tomorrow, I'll see what I can do about Saturday. Vicious and Spike. This is Debbie Cowboy Bebop. When it comes to battle, Buffy must fight alone. You are, after all, the slave. <clears throat> oh, God. Slave. Party's over. There comes you're, Snyder. You're all slaves to the uh, television. Yes. Areas. Young people nowadays. Shall we go? Let's... Go and surf on your computer. Come Did on now, Sheila. Did you really burn Sheila. out school building one time? Not actually one time. Cool. <laughs> Maybe that's in the movie. I've heard some of you guys say I should definitely check out. Some of you say I should definitely not. I think we will. You said the cow should touch me from Thursday. Mr. Dijon will not like that. Ah! I see you in the background there. If it turns out to not be this guy, I really am sorry, guys. I, I know. It, it's. I swear, it, uh, this guy looks... Is that James Rolfe? <laughs> it really looks like James Rolfe. As far as suspicious vampires go, guys, <laughs> suspicious looking people that could be vampires, I'd say he's probably up there. That line about um, what I find best for slayers is killing them is terrible. I said, ter if he thinks he's the next James Bond, he's 
He's having a laugh. Having killed a couple of slayers, though, if you think about that mathematically, that is bloody impressive. <laughs> but we don't know how long he's been around for. We know he's around in the 60s because he went to Woodstock. Or we don't know if he was uh, a vampire at that point. Always thinking. Guy out there trying to bite someone. Oh, very smart. So he's a bit of a tactic. Oh, oh, okay, that actually is. Okay. I get it. He told him to go. Slay. Slay. <laughs> Slay. Great line. See, that's a good line. Yeah, why has she got a steak on her? Stilettos, guys. I'm telling you, she should wear steak stilettos. <laughs> Nice. So evil looking. <laughs> he really nice is. Nice work. You'll find out on Saturday. Happens on Saturday. I kill you. Again, not a very good line. <laughs> this guy needs... Buffy's that, that sleigh thing was fantastic, but yeah. Spike's uh, one-liners tend to be quite weak so far. So far! Not criticising. Crazy about a cat. Just the feel of the leather makes me wanna... Where'd you go? Uh-oh. Oh, Sheila. Not funny! Well, you said you liked leather. Who are you? Who do you want me to be? What's your name? Sheila gonna get bitten. I can't run, that would be wrong. Could we hide? Be any worse than any other creature you faced. He's worse. Oh, Angel knows him. We were at the bronze before. Thought you said you might show. You said you weren't sure if you were going. You don't know what a girl means when she says maybe she'll show. Two centuries of dating. If you only had two a year, that's still like 400 dates with 400 different. Oh, thanks, Willow. Why do they call it a mace? Why do they call it a mace? Angel, do you know if this Spike fellow goes under any other name? Oh, don't do it, Batman. Are you okay, that's it. I'm putting a collar with a little bell on that guy. <laughs> that would be amazing. Oh, I need to see that fan art. Wow, so Angel knows Spike. So that would probably mean that Spike is pretty old school. I miss Prague. You nearly died in Prague. Oh, I've been to Prague. The hell mouth will restore you. Put color in your Oh, cheeks. Sheila. You should go up with them and cleanse. True. The boy doesn't trust you. Colin doesn't trust him. Eat something. Oh, Sheila. If you'd been good, you could watch with the rest. <laughs> oh, Sheila. We hardly knew ye. Yeah, I, this isn't a criticism of their acting, but I, I get the impression that, that, that neither of them are English, because it, it's a bit of a stereotypical English voice that they're doing. You know? Or maybe that is genuinely how they talk, I'm not sure. I don't know. Savage attack on the night of St. Vigis. Oh, Cordelia! Do you remember when Saturday night meant date night? You sure don't. <laughs> I mean, if this guy Spike is as mean as you all said, it should be over pretty quickly. Thanks. You guys hold down the fort. I'm punch bound. Really helps your confidence, Cordelia, do not you? I'm honestly not sure if I've ever had punch, guys. Lemonade. I made it fresh and everything. How much sugar did you use? Sugar? It's very good. Oh, it's just bitter lemon. <laughs> Here, have some lemonade. <laughs> Willow! Right after Willow shows you the library. Give him some! Yes! Here. Yes! Oh. Oh. oh! Sorry. She wouldn't have said much. You know, she doesn't speak a word of English. <laughs> I thought there was a cigarette machine in the background there. That wouldn't make any sense. Giles has us locked up in that library working on your weapons. Even slaves get minimum wage. You're starting to look a little slagged. What are you, just skipping foundation entirely now? Oh my god, Cordelia. Kind of like oil and water and a third unmeshable thing. Stone? Yeah, and I can see the oil. Oh, for God's sake! Oh, God. Um, but you haven't seen the boiler room yet. And, you know, that's really interesting, what with the boiler being in the room and all. Actually is. A lot goes down down there. I'm afraid we need to talk. My office is down here. But this, what, 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 what about the lemon? Well, maybe that's the problem. My guess? Tenth high school reunion? You'll still be grounded. <laughs> yeah, have some lemonade. Oh, no. <laughs> My new friend Spike. 
He's known oh. as William the Bloody. And his nickname by torturing his victims with railroad spikes. Whoa! Barely 200. He's not even as old as Angel. Good to know. That's him. Two slayers? He said a couple, didn't he? Spike has forged two slayers in the last century and he's killed them both. In the last century? I mean, that's a lot. What's the, I guess, what's the average age of a Slayer's death? In the car, now. Looks so proud of himself, doesn't he? Oh! Oh, God, oh no, not the twiglets! What can I say? Good mic. His one-liners, guys, they're weak. <laughs> so is the mother now going to learn about vampires? I mean, she's been bitten before, isn't she? Nice one, Willow! My goodness. I mean, this is major news here, guys. It's, like, it's a big event, is what I'm saying. The fact that all these people are seeing this. Is Snyder going to get out of her alive? That's the question. Oh, he's finally doing something. That's good. I'm a veal kind of guy. You're too old to eat. Veal. Oh, my goodness. Oh! Again, the one line. I feel better. Find Angel. He knows about Spike. We need him. No, I'm not going anywhere until I know that Buffy and Wither are all right. To no one will be all right unless we get some help. I agree. Go. You're the fastest out of us. Probably. Didn't get much of a look, but is there something wrong with their faces? Yes. It's a gang on PCP. Oh, PCP! They will kill everybody in this room. Nobody goes out, nobody comes in until I say so. Who do you think you are? The Slayer. I'm the one that knows how to stop them. Don't worry, Mom. Slayer! This is like an end of series episode, guys. This is like significant. I find one of your friends first. I'm going to suck them dry. Are you getting a word picture here? Oh, God. Word picture. Spike! Oh, my goodness. Someone's in the ceiling. And it's not Macy, was her name? I am the Watcher. I am responsible for her, and I, I have to go. Be careful. Push these back as soon as I... <laughs> okay, it's Buffy. <laughs> right? Buffy. Thank goodness. I'm gonna take the vamps out in the hall. After that, you get my mom and the others out the same way. Let me help you. Giles, my mother's in that room. I don't make it out of here. I know you'll make sure she does. You got... Set him up and knock him down. That line about the mother got me, guys. That was... And, and she, she's completely right. Giles can absolutely be more useful doing that. Yeah, that got me when she said, Make, that if I don't get out of here, my mother will. I say goes, and I say this is not happening. Well, then, I guess the danger's over. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you heard what Buffy said. She's a stupid is she? Oh, I think we're losing Snyder, guys. You're actually breaking, are you idiots? Don't solve it. Use your head. Oh, the axe was right there. Okay, he is an idiot. <laughs> he really is. Oh, dude. Yeah. I don't like this. Snyder and Buffy's mother be in the same room. You know a lot about the Spike guys, so, um, you got a plan? Good plan. <laughs> okay. This seems like too... This is, this is like a... I didn't expect such a big episode in episode three, guys. This is like incredibly important. It's like. Oh! Nice! Splinter Cell style. Where have you been? Oh no! There's some really weird guys outside. Oh god. This should be fun. Oh, you need some sort of vampire radar, Buffy. You really do. Angelos! Angelos. <laughs> Spike! Oh, Damn. very clever, Angel. It's awkward for Xander, though. I taught you to always guard your perimeter. Come up against this Slayer, yet? She's cute. Gave the puppy dog a more tortured act. Keeps her off my back when I feed. <laughs> I knew you were lying. <coughs> Undead liar guy. <laughs> a bite before we kill her? Surely, Angel is bluffing here, right? Really good, good, doing a good job guarding, any that guy. Yeah, I knew it. Don't end there. Oh, thank goodness. That would be frustrating. Buffy the Ghost! Oh, no. 
Nice! Oh! <coughs> oh! Multitasking. Impressive. So, why are you so scared of the Slayer? I mean, this uh, torture thing is an act, right? You're not housebroken. <laughs> I'll just feed and run. Oh, don't be silly. We're old friends. We'll do it together. A string to it. Oh, it's vampire courtesy. Oh! You think you can fool me? This you is... were my sire, man. You were my Yoda. Things change. Not us. Leave this, you Uncle Tom. Uncle Tom. E fi fo fum. I smell the blood of a nice, ripe girl. He's the one nine is a terrible guys. As a personal favor. I'll make it quick. It won't hurt a bit. No, Spike. It's gonna hurt a lot. <laughs> Buffy's quips are so much better than Spike's. Fascinating that Angel and Spike knew each other so well. To the point where Angel knew that he was lying as well. Come on, everyone. This way. I, you, you, get, get out of here! You're a liability. Willow and Cordelia are still just hanging out, aren't they? Oh, that hurt. Oh! Not as much as this will. Okay, that's that's a better line. That's a better quip. Ah! The side of the axe! Who is it? Ah. You get the hell away from my daughter. You bitch! I, I, I did, uh, sorry, I should say that's an alien reference, sorry. I apologize. No, wait, the mum! Okay, I'm amazed. I, uh, the mum saved the day. Nobody lays a hand on my little girl. I should apologize, guys. I, I was referencing aliens when I said you bitch. I wasn't I'm referring to any character in this, is it? Snyder survived! Who would have thunk it? It's over. Well, another wonderful, fun filled evening. I will understand if you decide to start avoiding me. Oh, I'm glad, guys. Finally, we get a little bit of a romance going. I couldn't make the first move. I had to see if he was buying it or not. And if he bit me, what then? We would have known he bought it. <laughs> What's the deal with you being Spike Sire? What's a sire? The Yoda. <laughs> you want the usual story? Gang related PCP? But you have in mind the truth. Gang related PCP. Wow, the cover ups continue, guys. Principal Snyder said you were a troublemaker, and I could care less. I have a daughter who can take care of herself. Oh, yes. But Still... how long till this wears off and you start ragging on me again? <laughs> no, at least we can have. I was gonna say, is she still grounded? <laughs> what an episode, guys! Oh, I was not expecting it to be so epic. If you get me out of this, I... I swear I'll never be mean to anyone ever again. If it's that time of the month, in which case I don't think you <laughs> hold me responsible. Ask for some aspirin. <laughs> can you please send some aspirin? Hey. I blimmin predicted that, guys. I didn't say it. I wrote it down. I got Willow and uh, Cordelia. I, I predicted that they were just going to still be there. <laughs> oh, Drew, yeah. Did she hurt you? Slayer with family and friends. That sure as hell wasn't in the brochure. How's the annoying one? Annoying? He doesn't want to play. What a cool character Spike is, guys. Seriously. You failed. I offer penance. Penance? You should lay down your life. You were there too, dude. I was rash, and if I had to do it all over again... <laughs> who am I kidding? I would do it exactly the same. Only I'd do this! No! Oh! I was wondering what this, that cage was there for. From now on, what time of day is it? We're gonna have a little less ritual. Oh no! And a little more fun around here. No way! R.I.P. Call it, I Jesus! Holy moly! <laughs> that freaking look well, literally escalated, but my God, that ending! So that's it, and Colin. Done with the annoying, the annoying one. I mean, that was okay. I know I was ragging on um, Spike's uh, quips and everything, guys. I was only joking. 
he's a freaking awesome character though, and he is our new main villain then. Because I can't believe that ending. I can't believe that ending. And as soon as he started to lift it, I was thinking, I hope there isn't any, any sunlight. But I mean, there certainly was. Just the last 20 seconds of that episode, guys, have just completely blown my mind. I've got loads of notes. I, 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 I didn't say it, but when, when like, they, when the, the cop was talking with the principal and everything, I did predict, oh, hang on, the Willow Wind's goodiness just sat there and they blew in were at amazing. Um, I do have to apologise, guys, because I don't want anyone to misconstrue what I'm saying. Now, I think with Buffy, a lot of, you know, you'll know a lot of, you know, um, pop culture references. Uh, but when the mother hits uh, Spike with the side of the axe, oh, it would have been a different story if she'd used the um, the spike of it. Um, she said, get away from my daughter. Um, there is a very famous line from the movie Aliens where it's kind of similar situations happening where, uh, where the uh, protagonist Ripley says, get away from her, you bitch. I wasn't referring to anyone in the episode as that, guys. I think, you know, I wouldn't do that. Um, so I apologise about that. I, 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 but That reference was not made clear enough. But yes, Spike's one-liners were pretty terrible. You're going to have to let me know, guys. Uh, I, I would predict that... And this, again, is not a criticism of their acting. Because their acting were both... Uh, Drew was pretty damn terrifying. Spike is incredibly cool. I mean, seriously, I think he's freaking awesome. Um, I assumed that he would be a good guy. This dude. I would predict that neither actor is English. Because he hear that, um, that... It's a bit of a cliche. I can't even, I can't even do the sort of accent that Americans tend to do with English people. It's, you know what it is? It's very Spinal Tap. <laughs> I don't know if you said Spinal Tap, um, but it's 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 very similar to that sort of accent. Um, not a criticism of, of their acting, though. Um, I loved the stuff between Angel and Spike. I'd give me in a whole episode of that, guys. I thought that was amazing, and the fact that they seem to actually be getting on. And Angel basically risking Xander's life was harsh, but uh, you know what? It 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 worked. It blew it worked. William the Bloody, 200 years a, a, a vampire, and in the last century, he has killed two slayers. So I guess the average death age of a, of a slayer would... I don't know what, at what age they start. And presumably it's not from birth. It's when one slayer dies, someone then becomes it, I would imagine. Either way, that's insane, considering that there are vampires all over the world and there's only ever one slayer. The fact that he's killed two. Maybe it's the Korean one that, um... Old puppet dude was talking about in a previous episode. Third episode of the series, guys. I f was so sure this was going to be another side quest. Maybe I need to stop doing that. It's like in Game of Thrones. I won't spoil anything in Game of Thrones, but there, it, it became a bit of a reliable thing that a significant thing would happen on a specific episode number of the series. You know what I mean? So having such a big episode, like, freaking... The mother now knows what Buffy does. She, she doesn't know the full details of it. Because you didn't actually see Buffy actually kill any vampires. There was the bit where the guy was hitting the door with the axe and there was a glass bit above the door and he could have just broken that, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, uh, that vampire was clearly meant to be an idiot anyway because he, he, he did see the axe before Spike you said, use your own. She's just still alive, isn't she? Right? Yeah. Well, not alive. She's a vampire. She made it out of there. It said there were only two bodies that were found. Oh, the guy with the neck and the guy at the window. So all in all, went pretty, pretty successful in in a you know defensive way. This was an excellent episode, guys. And Spike is freaking. I, I thought he was cool, guys. And then by the end of the episode, I thought he's freaking amazing. And what he did to Colin, guys. 
brutal. Brutal. And it was just out of nowhere. That's what I liked about it. I thought they were just going to say, we'll get him next time. Uh, roll credits. That was like... A, that ending was... I can't imagine many people predicted that. I did, no, I did notice the cage uh, in the background. I was thinking, oh, what's that going to be used for? I didn't think... I, this was brilliant. The only I know I, I've heard of PCP before because there is a Manic Street Preacher, Pre, Manic Street Preachers song of uh, called PCP, which I imagine would have come out around the same time as this. In fact, <laughs> Mr. Dijon, the French teacher. I actually don't know, guy. I, I don't know if Dijon is actually a a common f name in France. In the budget, it probably is, but obviously it has mustard connotations. <laughs> But I did. I write down. I wrote down Willow and Cordelia at the end, thinking, "Hang on, are they still there?" And we got that blue and payoff. Imagine if. Okay, imagine if you had the bit where where Spike like lifts up Colin and it's like, and they're walking off, and look really, really dramatic, and then it cut back to Cordelia and Willow. We're really taking the edge off the episode a little bit, really, wouldn't it? This was brilliant, guys, and I'd imagine this has to. This has. To, let me know your... You know what, guys? I really like it when you review the episode and let me know your rating in the bottom. I'd imagine this is going to be a high one. Really liked the line about... Um, where Buffy was saying to Giles... Giles, Giles needs to drop this whole I'll come with you stuff because he's so useful at doing other things. But in a fight situation, so far at least, he wouldn't be that useful. Good on him and... Uh, um, uh, not called Delia, Calendar. Jenny, I should say. Rupert and Jenny. Um, getting together now. It looks like they properly are together, you know. Where um, where Charles like, says, I'll come with you. And like Buffy like says, if if I let make it out, at least I'll know that that my mother did. Because you're going to, to that effect, you know, get her out of there. Um, I can't remember. Words to that effect. That gave me chills, guys. That was a great line. Such a human line from Buffy. Who's not very good at making punch, apparently. He just put lemon in there. So, so no sweetener at all. We didn't get to see Cordelia trying it. We didn't get to see Snyder trying it. Only Willow plummeted. Willow. <coughs> well, I imagine was probably the only person there who actually had any. Her face. When the moment like this. Uh, when, uh, like, Buffy offered her some punch. And when it was in the background, I go. Like that. Willow, she, she's got a great face. She, she really does like, look like a very expressive, worried face. We've seen it before. We've seen it before. Um, and it's wonderful. Fantastic episode, guys. Episode three. Why is it called Sky Hard? Oh, because it is a hostage situation. It's not called Sky Hard. It is called School Hard Veggie. It's because it's a hostage situation. So it actually was Die Hard reference. No Alan Rickman, though, this time. If you, if you haven't seen Die Hard, guys, you need to go out of your way and see it. It's, Alan Rick, I would... Having seen Harry Potter, it's hard to say that Snape isn't his best performance. But Die Hard was his first big movie role. Either way, you need to go and see it. Hey, uh, it's Yes, that's right. You, you need to watch Die Hard if you haven't, because it's wonderful. I'd imagine you will have. As you probably have also all seen Aliens and you knew what point I was making when I used the B word, which I wouldn't normally use, guys, but it's a reference. You know what I mean. Fantastic, guys. I'm waffling, so I'm going to go now. Brilliant episode. I didn't expect it to be so good. Episode three? The, ep the next episode has a tough... It's going to have a tough time, yo, know, because I thoroughly enjoyed the previous episode. So the next episode is going to have a hard time keeping the momentum going, because this is brilliant. I would imagine we won't see Spike in, in the next episode. But I'm... I'm looking forward to Spike episodes. I genuinely am. What a cool main villain now. Fantastic. Please subscribe. All the good stuff. Over to Gamer, and I'll see you next time.